Well, here's some of the things that you can expect this Christmas. Hatchimals are taking the lead in the toy department for the second year in a row. Trailing right behind are Wowie Fingerlings, which are like a smaller version of Hatchimals. Another hot toy right now is Coco's Guitar. This helps young ones learn how to play one of the iconic songs from the new movie. And finally, the Nerf rival Nemesis is on top in the action category. If you've been watching channels like Nick, Disney, or even Freeform's 25 Days of Christmas, I'm sure you've seen ads for all these new, wacky board games. If you're not one to fling foam out of a Nerf gun, or uh, play with stuffed animals, then you might be interested in a few of these. If you like to make a fool out of your family, Pie Face Sky High is a game where players essentially fling pies at each other. Another interactive game is Maze Racers. Players build mazes, then try to beat the other person. If you love painting, then Bob Ross, The Art of Chill may be for you. And finally, Monopoly introduced another version of their popular game. This one's called Monopoly Gamer. Following up with video games, here's what the current scene looks like. Sony and Microsoft are butting heads to make a powerful 4K and VR-ready console. Microsoft's Xbox One X is currently the most powerful console, however, Sony is competing with the PS4 Pro, a more affordable option. Still, a good computer is the way to go for 4K gaming, with the One X coming in at $500 and the PS4 Pro at $350, these are much more affordable options to the average consumer. The standard PS4 is currently in the lead as the fan favorite console with incredible sales figures. However, this could change this holiday season. Nintendo launched the Switch in March of this year, so this will be their first holiday. Nintendo's sales almost always soar around this time due to their family-friendly games and innovative, yet somewhat gimmicky consoles. I mean, come on, who didn't get a Wii on the first Christmas that it came out? Even though it's not a beast in terms of graphics, the Switch has some features that the other consoles don't, and that's its portability. Zelda Breath of the Wild is currently tearing up the charts. This Nintendo Switch exclusive is one of the most popular and highly rated games at the moment. Other Switch exclusives include Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Odyssey. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is one of the biggest games at the moment. With over 2.5 million players online right now, it's easy to see how well this game is doing. It used to be on PC only, but it just released to Xbox One two days ago. As far as non-exclusives go, there's a lot going on. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was supposed to be the biggest game this holiday, yet it flopped due to its loot crate system in which players essentially gambled for better items in the game. That feature has since been removed, but it suffered a heavy loss in player count. After that we have a few recent AAA releases. Assassin's Creed Origins, Call of Duty World War II, and Wolfenstein 2 are all games that came out within the past few months and received positive reviews. If you're like me and have an outdated iPhone 4, you might be in the market for a new phone this Christmas. Apple's iPhone X is packed with powerful hardware and a face recognition feature. If you're an avid Apple user, the new design may take a bit of getting used to. Despite being one of the best in terms of hardware, the price of about $1,000 can really deter people away, which is understandable. Also up there in terms of performance is Samsung's Galaxy Note 8. Last year was disastrous for the Note series as phones exploded due to faulty batteries. The battery size has been reduced on the Note 8, and Samsung claims to have added more safety measures. Apple also has another competitor for the Note 8, and that's the iPhone 8. This is a pretty standard upgrade from the iPhone 7, so if you're loaded with money, you may just want to spring for the iPhone X instead. Jumping down to the $650 range, we have phones like the Google Pixel 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. The S8 has features like great battery life, water resistance, wireless charging, and even a slot to add external storage. The Google Pixel 2 has arguably the best camera out of all the phones in its price range. Google claims the phone has fast charging times, free unlimited photo and video storage, and fast software. This year had a lot going on in toys, games, and electronics. I hope that clarified a few things and cleared up what to expect this Christmas. Now, back to the anchor.